Hello guys people, welcome to Telling Talk. Well, hello guys people, hope you guys are doing well. My name is Ika, will be your host for today's session. And I'm so excited that in this fourth episode, we will discuss more further about uh, our speaker. And our topic today is A to Z of global communication. That's why on this fourth episode, we brought you a speaker who has a background as a practitioner public relation and now manage talent corporate communication, which has uh, 10 global offices. Welcome, Bella. How are you today, Ma? Hi, Ika. Alhamdulillah, uh, I'm good today. How about you? Yeah, I'm fine, good. Thanks, Mbak. But before we discuss more about our today's topic, I will introduce you about our speaker. Melanie Mukhtar, or we call her Ella, currently working at Telekomunikasi Indonesia International or Telin as Corporate Communication Manager. She is active in many corporate events such as launching, media gathering, working closely with Telkom as the parent company, rebranding new identity of Telin and more corporate related events to both internal and external audiences. Before working at Talin, she was account manager at Ogilvy and has done many communication activities that involve uh, selling ideas to convince people. Moreover, she also had past experience working at Pfizer, a pharmacy company, also in a radio station that led her to have extensive skill where communication is core. So without further ado, we will have a chit chat with Bella. Hi Bella. Hi Cha. To start our today's topic, to discuss our today's topic, uh, I have uh, an opening question. Oh, well, basically, how do you see COVID-19 situation like this affect corporate communication in general, both internal and external? Okay, thank you, Icha, for this opportunity. Um, before that, I would want to say uh, good morning to everyone um, in any time zone, wherever you are. Um, yes, we're in the midst of um, a crisis today. Well, we call it pandemic called COVID-19. So basically, it affected, it affects many ways of working the way we're working now, including the corporate communication. Um, if we say the corporate communication, how it's affected by COVID-19 in general, I would say that it's actually uh, very affected by it. However, um, in terms of the way of we're working in the communication area, it's very dynamic and very uh, and very close to changing. So that's why in corporate communication in many in many levels, uh, um, although it's changing, but it's adapting. Uh, for instance, like what we're doing in Italian, because when we started the uh, COVID in March, if I'm not mistaken. We started it quite um, quite surprisingly different. We did the Talents anniversary, 13th anniversary, um, in a very new and surprising way. We're doing it in digital. When we uh, try to do it in the first time, we kind of uh, surprised and um, scared whatever this, ha- this, uh, this, this platform can be done successfully or not. But then, um, at the at the at the as as it's passed successfully, the the event can be done, and then um, everyone is very uh, happy with it. But then, at the end of the day, how we adjust to the new situations is based on how the people surrounding it can adjust to it as well. For instance, like Tallinn is full of people who are. Uh, who has a value of dynamic, innovative, and then they also very techno savvy and the, uh, things like that. That's why when we're uh, when we're entering the COVID nineteen in March uh, at that time, we uh, can adjust it very fast. Um, if, if we say about how corecom or how corporate communication or some we say uh, public relations uh, is affected by the COVID nineteen. Mm, we see and I saw in some of the area uh, of corporate communication in many corporations, they change uh, quite fast. I mean, like corporate communication is, is uh, to be honest, is not the function in the company who 
can directly affecting the sales or revenue but then we try to support how the people in the in the in the um in the front level in the front uh, or uh, in the front gate can generate sales we become the we become the uh, bridges between uh, between for instance like the uh, sales people to the revenue and then how we communicate and then we also uh, build a relationship with the media journalism right. and then also some the stakeholders like regulators yeah. and stuff um, um the challenges are when we're having a communication and when we need to distribute the communication to our stakeholders we need to um, we cannot we well it's it's the same with other units or it's the same with other departments we have some difficulties in the beginning that we cannot touch them personally we cannot touch them physically we cannot meet them physically mm -hmm. yeah but thanks to the technology everything is yeah. our are solved quite fast. I mean, like we can have uh, having a big video conference, having um, a text messages and stuff is mm -hmm. not new to us. So uh, in corporate communication, the all corporate communication in the world are adjusting very fast and it's very adapting to the situation. Some changes that we cannot do uh, uh, due to the COVID-19 are mm -hmm. something like doing the press conference, and then doing the media gathering physically, mm -hmm. and then we can also, um, in terms of the event, we cannot do some of the physical events, and then mm -hmm. um, we kind of uh, limiting ourselves to uh, meeting um, some of our stakeholders just to build the relationship. I mean, like the, the thing are the same with the salesperson or the marketing person in terms of how we do the, uh, how we do the working. Just the way we're uh, limiting ourselves from physical to now we're doing it all in yeah. digital. And um, uh, through the, uh, throughout the process, everything are very smooth. I mean, like um, it's not the it's not a new thing for us, especially for people in talent to emphasize mm -hmm. to using the technology in a very frequent level. That's why the way we're doing communication and then how we support how we support the front gate salesperson marketing person and then the infrastructure persons are all very smooth so that's um that's what i can share to you for uh, your question yeah. okay so uh, continue to the next question uh, like you mentioned before uh, you said that uh, there are so many challenges right Maya? yes but, correct so uh, what do you think is the most uh, or the biggest challenge uh, from this current situation Okay, uh, the biggest challenge is that we are missing the physical, the physical interaction, of course, the, the physical communication with them. Mm -hmm. um, and, all, and then also in terms of the general, also the life change, the lifestyles or the lifestyle is also changing. For instance, mm -hmm. that um, how people now become uh, very savvy in their mm -hmm. homes. They're using digital very uh, mm -hmm. frequently in their home. Uh, so a lifestyle changing such as the restaurant, the mall, and the hotel trend becomes decreasing. Instead, the changing of the people coming to pharmacy or uh, tapping the herbal medicine and also life insurance uh, become the increase comparing mm -hmm. to the um, comparing to the restaurant and mall that I've mentioned before. Due to the social distancing or physical distancing that we um, that were becoming new normal right now and then also okay. why we why people coming to pharmacy and herbal medicines very fast because they need to uh, they 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 receive the information about about um, increasing body immune and then that's why they mm -hmm. uh, when we call it like a, uh, apa namanya ya uh, crazy buying <laughs> buying to buy us and then any okay. medicine stuff like that but then however it becomes increasing in streaming in streaming services and then delivery services yeah. and then of course uh, our businesses also um, have a uh, good impact from the yeah. COVID in due to the uh, traffic of network traffic from um, apa namanya, bandwidth internet mm -hmm. and stuff and then also the third is the trend in basic 
uh, in back to people tend to uh, back to basic needs. For instance, like the luxury for in, uh, where uh, buying some premium stuff is become decreasing. For instance, like um, expensive and expensive stuff uh, like uh, electronic stuff or uh, shoes. Um, bags and stuff are becoming decreasing. However, people are more into groceries, fintechs. They tend to do something that can make them uh, convenient and comfortable at home. And then the last one, yeah, people yeah. go virtual. So for instance, like in the wedding uh, virtually and then also becoming increasing in game, the capacity mm-hmm people who you uh, about playing game online is very increasing right now so there are four mm-hmm. that were tapping by the uh, covid-19 yeah. i see because besides the we 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 should face the challenges uh, i believe we we have uh, some opportunities right but, uh, yeah yes that's but that's anyway hmm? increasing and decreasing as well but how to overcome uh, the challenge to maximize uh, to maximize the opportunity, Maya, in terms of communication, right? Uh, okay, thank you, Chat. For overcome the crisis, for o- overcome the changing. Um, well, for me as an individual and as part of the corporate communication person, uh, it's a must that we need to be open. We come to the sense that we cannot stay in a status quo in terms of the lifestyle. We need to uh, start becoming very frequent in using digital chat. I see. Yeah, if you become very bored right now and you cannot do anywhere and then you force yourself to do some uh, leisure time uh, abroad or uh, outside your house it's you need to you need to overcome yourself with the start uh, creativity how you can how you can exchange what you can receive outside into your house people mm-hmm. people are people are keen to uh, build their creativity from it and then as well in terms of the communication we need to deliver how we can distribute our communication to the stakeholders using the limited infrastructure using the limited facility mm-hmm. facility that we have uh, in our house for instance like um, I need to attend the press conference, or I need to, uh, de- I need to uh, conduct a press conference to our stakeholders. Then, mau nggak mau, we need to invite them using the digital facility, so the messages can be distributed very good. I see. Okay. So, in in any in any area, Sita, for mm-hmm. not. In corporate, not only in communication, if I might say, um, we need to open ourselves not to stay in a status quo. We need to um, mm-hmm. becoming very dynamic, becoming very open savvy in terms of um, mau menggunakan. We want to use technology uh, mm-hmm. mau mau seperti itulah kasar. Yeah, that's the that's the. So we need uh, to keep updated, ya, mbak, with the yeah. technology, right? Yes. Okay. That's okay, a big so. That's a big picture. I see. Okay. So, how do you see a new ways of corporate communication strategy actually in the future? In terms of the strategy, it won't change much. Uh, I mean, we still need to we still need to find the we need to need to uh, apa namanya um, develop how the communication in the future based on what we do in the in the past, and then we combine it. W- we combine it with the strategy that the offices that our offices uh, do for instance like the corporate communication in Tallinn we work very closely with marketing communication and then however uh, what we're going to do in the uh, in the future year we always have a collaboration with related units such as corporate uh, our corporate strategy to know what is the reason uh, the recent strategy in terms of the corporate level has now, and then also we build the uh, we also build the relationship with the human capital to know how the communication can be delivered mm-hmm. uh, in a correct way to our mm-hmm. internal uh, stakeholders, and then also 
um, well many many units in internal talents that we uh, collaborating in a way we can deliver uh, the communication in very good way uh, to add in talent since we have uh, quite numbers of subsidiaries we also yep. develop communication with them I mean everything we do the uh, communication to subsidiaries all done in a digital way so that's why I mm -hmm. uh, like for corporate communication in Tallinn not really surprised with the um, with the changing with the changing uh, way of working in terms of digital mm -hmm. we already done this way of communication to our subsidiaries we have um, uh, uh, good frequent of communication with them through digital okay well well i wish we have more time to ask more question but it's time to wrap up our talk session do you have uh, any closing statement for us uh, about our today's topic a to z of global communication okay um maybe some of some of some of my some of my said today is not really correct or not really uh, apa namanya representing what the corporate communication as a whole however um, this is what i experienced so far uh, for the past almost one year as part of the as part of the corporate communication something that we cannot do and something that we uh, can do as an opportunity in terms of something that we cannot do we are very unfortunate not to meet our uh, colleagues in in physical we're missing some of uh, our big events in Tallinn such as batik uh, uh, and then co message and then any meeting with our community in telco we miss that things but however some of the opportunities like um, Tallinn can offer more capacity bandwidth to the uh, stakeholders which given back to us as well and then this is like increasing our ways of innovative dynamic and then we are forced to use technology and digital which is like as a company we're always do like you need to do the technology digital and stuff and blah 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 and then um forced by the situation right now mau gak mau everyone everything is in technology okay well thanks a lot Maela thanks for sharing your experience and idea related global communication once again uh, thank you for your time and to all good people we hope you enjoy our talk I'm your host Icha see you on the next episode stay tuned on Talent Talk connecting the idea have a great day good people bye bye thank you Maela bye Maela bye bye Bye.